Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4, and it goes like this. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This morning, I'd like to speak a little bit about God's peace. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. You can't buy it. No. God's peace. You know, peace is a soothing word. That makes you think of Oh, ability to remain calm, even in the middle of the storm. There's a, a famous uh, picture, and, and I, I don't know who the artist was or even the name of the picture, but I'm sure you've seen it. It's a, a, a little bird that's nestled up in, this, in the cleft of a rock, out in the water and the waves just crashing in because of a storm. And that little bird just feels safe. He's right there in the crevice of the, the rock and, and he feels safe. That's peace in the midst of a storm. You know, John 14 and 27 tells us, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You see, that kind of peace is just, it surpasses all understanding. I recall back when our uh, three sons was little and out on the little ranch, well, uh, of course, you know, there's, there's no lights <laughs> at night except for the stars, but, uh, we'd have these storms come through, uh, sometimes tornadoes, but, uh, anyhow, the, the lightning would crash and you could hear rain beating against the windows and, and those three little rascals would come run, jump into bed with mom and dad. And just that their head no sooner hit the pillow and they have sound asleep because they found peace. You see, in life's journey, there are so many times where we we just can't find peace. In fact, with with all that's going on in the world today, very seldom can you find a place of peace. They're just havoc everywhere. And it's time that we begin to call on the Lord for his peace. You know, Deuteronomy 31 and 6 says, Be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. What a God we serve. Yet many of us, we don't call on the name of the Lord in the time of trouble. We try to do it on our own. We try to be brave. Well, I'll tell you what, it's sometimes tough. Ramona Jean used to sing a song, and she still does occasionally, called Sheltered in the Arms of God. And uh, the words go, uh, so let the storms rage high and the dark clouds rise. They don't worry me because I'm sheltered in the arms of God. Folks, we need to call out on the Lord in times of trouble. In time, when we're scared to death, 
we need to call out on the Lord and receive his peace. He will give you peace that will you the world will look at you and wonder what in the world is wrong with you. Why aren't you trembling? Why aren't you afraid? Why aren't you crying? It's because you have the peace of God in you. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.